Viral tactile feedback can enhance user experience in various applications, including virtual reality, gaming, and assistive technologies. However, designing haptic feedback requires specialized skills and tools, and it is often a time-consuming process. To address these challenges and better support haptic design, we introduce HaptikGen, a first-generative model capable of creating diverse viral tactile haptic signals from texture input. The three design goals for HaptikGen come from the formative study with nine haptic experts. For instance, in this study, we found out that the current haptic design process only focuses on audio-to-haptic parameter tuning. And here are our proposed solutions. Developing two large captions to haptic datasets, training and evaluating text-to-vibration model, building a user interface without HMD. We developed an initial haptic dataset from audio signals, trained the generative model, and built the user interface. Then we collected the expert feedback and a haptic dataset. Finally, we optimized the model by fine-tuning on this dataset and evaluated in a user study. To create a large-labeled vibration dataset, we filtered and applied it automated audio-to-vibration conversion to an existing captioned audio dataset. We mapped the intensity and temporal characteristics of the audio signal onto a lower-frequency sine wave to create a viable tactile signal and used an LLM to augment the captions to create the haptic labels. We then trained the encoded tokenizer and initial transformer language model using this haptic augmented dataset. For inference, the haptic prompt is processed using a pre-trained T5 text model and used as the conditioning input for the transformer language model. Output from the language model is decoded with encodec, then normalized and quantized for haptic playback. To further refine the model, we generated an expert body dataset and corresponding prompts using our initial model. We employed this dataset to fine-tune the model using direct preference optimization leading to the final haptic gen model. Here is the haptic gen interface. We have generation, Wizards, Signal Browser, and Playback Panes. Designers can enter a text prompt into Haptic Gen about an XR scenario. Once the user writes a prompt, the cloud hosted Haptic Gen model generates multiple vibration variants, and the output signals can be downloaded into a local folder for playback. Then the user can browse and load the vibration onto Quest controllers for playback. The playback pane includes a visualization of vibration currently loaded on the Quest controllers. The playback head indicates real-time playback status. After playing a vibration, the user can then vote on these signals with thumbs up and down. With 32 participants, we evaluated user satisfaction with the fine-tuned haptic gem model and created a second haptic data set with over 3.2K vibrations. We used the within subject AV testing study to assess the fine-tuned haptic gen model compared to the baseline generative audio model in a controlled study setting. The participants imagined the situations. For instance, here the user entered the frustration of lying awake in bed and you toast and turn. Our interface provided 10 variants, five from each model, Based on our results, haptic gen is more consistently aligned with the user's intent, resulting in more positive votes compared to the baseline audio generation model. Participants perceived our system significantly better than the baseline across several quantitative metrics, such as autotelics, realism, workload, feature use, and goal. Our evaluation demonstrated that haptic gen effectively addresses the challenge of limited haptic data, enhances the haptic ideation process, and lowers the barrier to entry for haptic design.